Hello, and welcome to Student Health Services. What seems to be the problem today? Um, I just have a sore throat as well. That's it? Well, you're gonna have to do a bit better than that. Excuse me? Uh, well, if you want to see a doctor, you have to be concerned about the odds of your immediate demise. Oh, well, I guess I've been sick for a while, and I fell a couple of times last night, too. Well, why didn't you tell me that? Uh, this changes everything. Put on this gas mask, fill out that medical and sexual history, and sit down until I call you. Yeah. Oh, you filled out all the forms. That's great. Time for the shaming portion of this SHS visit. The what? Oh, you'll see. It says here that the last time you cried was while watching an episode of Veggie Tales. Yeah, but I don't really see how that has anything to do with being sick. It has everything to do with it. Um, I want you to take this tomato and write, VeggieTales makes me cry, and then take a selfie with it. I don't, I don't see how this... Do it, or I'll stab you with this. Okay, okay. Can I... Can I just see a doctor now? <laughs> no, you silly plebeian. Your shaming has just begun. Plebeian? Yes, and you plebes make me sick. Uh, it says here where the form says, will you have sex with me, you wrote no. May I ask why? Are you a homosexual? No, I'm not, I'm not gay. I just... I don't understand why you're doing this to me. We just need to rule out AIDS, sir. Or if your illness is just that your butt's a bit sore from, <laughs> you know. Isn't this, isn't this against some sort of law? Like, shouldn't this be illegal? Actually, you signed away any legal rights you had when you signed these forms. I own you and your likeness until you get a prescription. And, uh, good luck with that. But. But what if... Silence. Okay, let's move on to your medical history. It says here that um, you once got trapped in a woman? Well, if you're referring to my, my birth, then yes, but... Just as I thought. Okay, let's take your weight and blood pressure. Also, I'm going to probe your ass a bit after I take your heart rate. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, nothing. Just grab this book and step on the scale, and I'll do the rest. Oh, and you don't have a fever. What? How could you possibly already know that? And you know that my weight's gonna be wrong, right, if I'm holding this heavy book? Looks like you're getting quite fat. If you don't lay off those half and half soon, you're gonna become the world's fattest man. Also, your blood pressure and heart rate are really bad. You should probably exercise more. How and why did you become a nurse? To change lives, Tiberius. To change lives. That's not my name. That's what it says on your charts. Anyways, Tiger Tooth, it's time for you to see a doctor. <laughs> Thank God. Right this way, Toyota. Hello, my name is Dr. Illness, but you can call me Genevieve. Mm, no, actually you can't. Anyway, Toyota, what seems to be the problem today? You're the nurse. I came here to see the doctor. Are you implying that I'm not a real doctor because I'm a woman? No, I'm... I'm only implying that your medical degree is a used napkin on the wall. Well, I'm sorry if I'm not gonna stand here and get all mansplained about traditional masculinity by a brooding young man like you. None of this is making sense. Can I just leave? 
Not before I administer a long and humiliating series of medical tests. Here, please wear this necessary medical dress. This is not gonna happen, sorry. I'm just gonna leave. The forms you filled out when you came in entitled me to some of your blood. You can't have, I'm not gonna give you my blood. Can, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, excuse me? I'm your worst nightmare. I'm the guy who gets the last serving of mac and cheese. I'm the guy who defended Bill Cosby on your Facebook timeline. I'm the guy who schedules all of your exams. That's cool or whatever, but I'm just gonna... You're not going anywhere. I've, I've had enough of this. Goodbye. Well, I guess if I email him that he has diabetes, he'll have to come back. And I thought we were becoming such good friends.